The four U.S. Air Force F-16 fighter jets that recently flew a mission over the highly contested South China Sea were photographed landing at Yokota Air Base in Japan, en route to their home base at Misawa. The images confirm that these jets were armed for counter-air operations with a heavy load of live air-to-air -air missiles. The jet's appearance in the South China Sea last week coincided with the biggest presence of People's Liberation Army aircraft in Taiwan's Southwest Air Defense Identification Zone in recent times, 25 aircraft in all. As evidenced by the NASQ-213 Harm Targeting System, the distinctive pod-mounted sensor found under the right side of the aircraft's intakes, these jets are the radar-killing Wild Weasel F-16CM versions but, on this occasion at least, they were carrying maximum air-to-air -air loadouts. That these live missiles were then taken over the sensitive South China Sea suggests a willingness to demonstrate U.S. ability to generate defensive combat air patrols caps, in proximity to Taiwan, as well as other hotspots in the region. It's unclear where the jets actually took off from for the April 12th mission, but they may have flown from Kadena Air Base, on the island of Okinawa, located around 300 miles north of Taiwan. This island has a massive U.S. Air Force presence of its own and would have positioned them much closer to the South China Sea. Nevertheless, extensive tanker support was still required with at least four different Air Force KC-135 Stratotankers identified in the Strategic Channel area south of Taiwan, based on online flight tracking data. Once in the South China Sea, the four jets performed an overflight of the aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt, CVN-71, currently on a scheduled deployment to the U.S. 7th Fleet Area of Operations. At the same time that the F-16s were conducted their armed patrol, the People's Liberation Army was sending no fewer than 25 aircraft into Taiwan's southwest Adiz, comprising 14 J-16 and 4 J-10 multirole fighters, 4 H-6K missile-carrying bombers, 2 KQ-200 anti-submarine warfare aircraft, and 1 KJ-500 airborne early warning and control aircraft. On April 12, by contrast, the PLA aircraft headed out into the northeastern reaches of the South China Sea, in more or less a straight line, before turning around heading back to the mainland. This is a more typical tactic and reflects another previous large-scale mission, flown on January 24, an incident that the war zone reported on in depth at the time. Large-scale aerial operations by the PLA in the South China Sea in general, and in Taiwan's southwest Adiz in particular, are becoming more frequent. Not only are the numbers of aircraft involved significant, but they include potentially more provocative aircraft types, including long-range bombers and airborne early warning platforms.